In this video we will talk about migraine. A migraine is a headache that can cause severe throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation, usually on one side of the head. It's often accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and extreme sensitivity to light and sound. Migraine attacks can last for hours to days, and the pain can be so severe that it interferes with your daily activities. For some people, a warning symptom known as migraine aura occurs before or with the headache. A migraine aura can include visual disturbances, such as flashes of light or blind spots. It can also cause other disturbances, such as tingling on one side of the body and difficulty speaking. Medications can help prevent some migraines and make them less painful. Migraines can progress through four stages. Prodrome. Aura. Attack. Postrome. Not everyone who has migraines goes through all stages. Prodrome. One or two days before a migraine, you might notice subtle changes that warn of an upcoming migraine, including constipation, mood changes from depression to euphoria, food cravings, neck stiffness, increased urination, fluid retention, frequent yawning, aura. For some people, an aura might occur before or during migraines. Auras are reversible symptoms of the nervous system. They are usually visual but can also include other disturbances. Each symptom usually begins gradually, builds up over several minutes and can last up to 60 minutes. Examples of migraine auras include Visual phenomena, such as seeing various shapes, bright spots or flashes of light. Vision loss Pins and needle sensations in an arm or leg Weakness or numbness in the face or one side of the body. Difficulty speaking. Attack. A migraine usually lasts from 4 to 72 hours if untreated. How often migraines occur varies from person to person. Migraines might occur rarely or strike several times a month. During a migraine attack, you might have pain usually on one side of your head, but often on both sides. Pain that throbs or pulses. Sensitivity to light, sound, and sometimes smell and touch. Nausea and vomiting. Postdrome. After a migraine attack, you might feel drained, confused and washed out for up to a day. Some people report feeling elated. Sudden head movement might bring on the pain again briefly. Though migraine causes aren't fully understood, genetics and environmental factors appear to play a role. Changes in the brainstem and its interactions with the trigeminal nerve might be involved. Imbalances in brain chemicals including serotonin might be involved too. Researchers are studying the role of serotonin in migraines. Other neurotransmitters also play a role in the pain of migraine, including calcitonin gene-related peptide CGRP. There are a number of migraine triggers, including Hormonal changes in women Fluctuations in estrogen, such as before or during menstrual periods, pregnancy and menopause, seem to trigger headaches in many women. Hormonal medications, such as oral contraceptives, also can worsen migraines. Drinks These include alcohol, wine, and coffee. Stress Stress at work or home can cause migraines. Sensory stimuli. Bright or flashing lights can induce migraines. Strong smells such as perfume, paint thinner, secondhand smoke and others trigger migraines in some people. Sleep changes. Missing sleep or getting too much sleep can trigger migraines in some people. Physical factors. Intense physical exertion, including sexual activity, might provoke migraines. Medications. Oral contraceptives and vasodilators, such as nitroglycerine, can aggravate migraines. Foods. Aged cheeses and salty and processed foods might trigger migraines. So might skipping meals. Food additives. These include the sweetener aspartame and the preservative monosodium glutamate, MSG, found in many foods. 
several factors make you more prone to having migraines, including Family history If you have a family member with migraines, then you have a good chance of developing them too. Age Migraines can begin at any age, though the first often occurs during adolescence. Migraines tend to peak during your 30s and gradually become less severe and less frequent in the following decades. Sex Women are three times more likely than men to have migraines. Hormonal changes For women who have migraines, headaches might begin during menstruation, pregnancy, or menopause. Migraine treatment is aimed at stopping symptoms and preventing future attacks. Medications used to combat migraines fall into two broad categories. Pain-relieving medications and preventive medications. Also known as acute or abortive treatment, these types of drugs are taken during migraine attacks and are designed to stop symptoms. Preventive medications are taken regularly, often daily, to reduce the severity or frequency of migraines. You can find medications used for migraine relief in our other video.